in illustration number 4 we have to pass the accounting in entries after incorporating goods and services tax record necessary journal entries assuming cgst 5% and sgst 5% and all transactions are occurred within delhi right number 1 show with bath goods rupees 1 lakh on credit what is the journal entry for purchases the journal entry for purchases being purchases account debit purchases account debit value being 1 lakh value being 1 lakh and of course we have to pay the cgst in agst that amount should also be now debited and any amount you are paying at the time of purchasing could be refunded so it's your asset should be now debited in the name of input cgst as well as input sgst input sgst one share for government central government another share is for the delhi government okay five percent five percentage then five percent on this being five thousand rupees on the sale value for the one lakh you have to calculate five percentage input cgst five thousand input sgst five thousand rupees and that too this is in credit as the transaction is in credit we, we have to write the party's name if the party's name is missing then we can name this being creditors creditors account is that okay the value being 1 lakh 10,000 second transaction he sold them for rupees 1 lakh 35,000 in the same state on credit okay again he sells in the same state same Delhi on credit sales the entry being in general entry being the party account debit to sales but of course we have to adjust for the output tax while goods going out you have to pay the tax which is called output tax where this output tax is collected from the customer and you are depositing to the banker uh, to the government right second one second one okay debtors account debit as it's a credit sales party's name is also missing we have to debit the debtors account to sales the value being 135000 though the value being 135000 i collect not only 135 tax on this will also be together with collected so the two taxes i am going to collect here being cgst and sgst but i am going to name this being output cgst and output sgst so output cgst and output sgst output sgst at the rate of 5 percentage and 1 lakh 35 thousand the value being 6750 6750 in total the amount recoverable from debtors being the summation of all this value 1 lakh 48500 1 lakh 48500 this is over third one he paid for railway transport rupees 8000 he paid for railway transport right whatever the payment may be uh, probably goods purchased or uh, uh, railway services you enjoyed for that also GST will be applicable that GST is also be recoverable only so for the railway transport payment the entry being transport charges transport charges transport charges account debit the value being um, 8000 rupees of course I will be collecting what I have to pay for the IGST also means CGST also as this is input services I can re get it refunded so input CGST input CGST should be debited CGST account debit and uh, input uh, ESGS, SGST account should also be debited 8000 rupees for the seller 5% on the 8000 400 is for central government another 400 rupees is for the state government in total the amount payable by me is 8800 i assume this is immediately paid not in credit so either bank or cash account can be credited i'm not sure at, uh, by check or cash i'm not sure anyhow you can interchangeably use cash or bank account here and then fourth one he bought computer printer he bought computer printer the same logic will be applicable for purchase of the printer also so fourth one fourth one computer account debit computer account debit and uh, the value payable for the computer being only 10,000 but anyhow I have to add the tax also with this 
that tax any purchases for that any tax is paid refundable so this is named as input input cgst refundable okay 5% on 10000 being 500 rupees and again input sgst input sgst rupees 500 500 to what to what we assume it is immediately settled to bank or cash so i name this being bank bank this value being 11000 rupees this value being 11000 rupees and fifth transaction paid postal charges 2000 rupees fifth again this is also input services input services means you are purchasing for rendering output services so debit the postal charges postal charges of debit postal charges of debit being 2000 rupees for that also you have to pay the cgst but anyhow for this the tax paid will be refunded so input uh, cgst account debit cgst account debit and uh, input sgst account should also be debited right this value will be being 5 percent on the postal charges which is 100 rupees for the state government and another, another 100 rupees for the central government the overall payment in this case being 2200 rupees whatever the goods you purchase nowadays you will not pay anything you will not pay only for the purchase value you will be paying together with the gst right so whatever the invoice you have today even for the purchasing the material hotel restaurant bill whatever the bill now immediately there will be cgst and hgst so you need to understand how to incorporate cgst and sgst while passing the general trade. this is a practical illustration right if you are not able to understand the incorporation of goods and services tax of course it's it's of no use in your practical life today so one of the beautiful illustration then finally if it is a periodical end we usually adjust the input tax and output tax once in every month end so here i assume this is the month end that comes here so what is the output tax payable so the output tax payable in this case being this one 6750 is payable to the either cgst or is gst okay cgst or is gst okay from there input tax credit can be adjusted what is the input tax credit we have 5000 not only that another 400 not only that another 500 not only that again i have paid another 100 i can get all the tax paid on purchases could be accumulated and uh, credited in our electronic credit ledger that will be adjusted for the output payment output tax payment so 5000 plus uh, 400 plus 500 plus 100 6000 is now available in electronic credit ledger so i offset this payment balance of 50 rupees should be payable from electronic cash ledger right so this credit balance is now debited on payment output cgst account debit output sgst account debit output cgst in total 6750 output sgst is also usually same value right so 6750 this will be first offset with the input gst you have input cgst you have in total being already we have found out separately 6000 similarly input uh, cgst sorry sgst available in your electronic credit ledger being 6000 can be used here the ultimate difference will be now settled through electronic electronic cash ledger electronic cash ledger okay this value being 1500 hope so you could not understand completely come on make a note of it Thank you.